Welcome to Utah's Corner. Utah's Fly Corner, that is. My mistake. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie a real simple, effective fly for a rainbow trout. Uh, pretty much any stock trout. They're total suckers for this fly. Um, this one's called the infamous pink worm. Um, show you how to tie it. It's very quick, very simple. Get the device. The hook I like to use is a 1x long. Uh, I'm tying these just for regular old trout. Um, you can tie these on heavy wire hooks. They work great on steelhead uh, and salmon. Um, try to use is red. I'm using a uh, Danville uh, 7 engineer Flymaster. Just gonna start my thread. Bring it back to almost the barb. And then uh, what you need is uh, pink vernio or ultra chenille. Um, not pink, uh, fluorescent pink is the stuff. Um, I cut it into a length here already and I already burnt the ends. That saves you a little bit of time when you cut them. If you pre cut them, and you also uh, also burn the ends when you do, but just see them on. What I what I like to do, I'll explain it as I go here. Um, and I do the same thing with tying sandwich worms. As I put the worm down on my side, I bring the thread over at once, I tighten up, pulling towards me. Then I bring another one over that'll bring him on top, and I get him out of the way. Throw one right by him, and then I like to bring my thread up, just like you would tying a sandwich worm. Now I'm going to do the dubbing. Uh, the W you use um, is a steelhead orange. It's a glow bug dubbing. Uh, glow bug yarn. Um, steelhead orange is the color. It's a fluorescent orange color. Um, let's get that when you. And then you just. Uh, what I do is I just chop it into. Into. Uh, about half inch to three quarter inch pieces. Um, into a coffee grinder. Then just uh, blend it up. And that uh, makes you a nice dubbing. You can just pull pull some pieces off. Um, this stuff isn't very easy to dub. Um, you don't need wax. You just gotta be a little forceful when you dub it. You know, really give it a good pinch. Try to get it on there kind of tight. But dub yourself on a decent amount. Don't worry about uh, dubbing real sparse with this stuff. So we're gonna want to bulk up the uh, body there. Don't worry about that too much. I like to wrap it back. Get right up against there. Then a quick wrap forward. Bring it back. Loop over. Over. You got yourself a tapered body. And bring, bring him over. One wrap over top to hold. Another wrap to secure. Couple wraps in front to tighten those down, and then right into the whip. Tighten that up. And we snip them off. And you got yourself a infamous pink worm. The way to fish these guys is put a shot. Fish the fly solo. You don't need anybody else on with them. Um, put, have him on the end of your line, and put a shot, a split shot, suited for whatever kind of water you're fishing, um, about six to eight inches above the fly. You want this fly to be on the bottom and fish a dead drift, and you want it to be on the bottom, dragging along the bottom, pausing and moving on, pausing. Pausing and moving on, pausing and moving on. Um, the fish will just pick it up. Um, a lot of times the strikes are very light; they just pick it up. Um, so on those, when it stops, lift the rod a little bit and see if you feel any kind of weight. Uh, if you feel any kind of weight whatsoever, set set that hook. Um, you'll be you'll be amazed at how effective this this pattern is uh, for stock trout and and uh, pretty much any rainbows. Uh, they're true suckers for this fly. Um, but Johnny Utah, that's the infamous pink worm. 
It's a deadly fly for sure. Twist them up if you go for stockies. Um, it's definitely a definitely a killer pattern. They don't call it infamous for nothing. I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out on my blog, www.utahsflycorner.blogspot.com. Thanks. For